Welcome to my Euro 2016 review of the last 16. The first three matches were played on Saturday, starting with Switzerland v Poland. Poland took the lead after 39 minutes. Switzerland did actually dominate the game from the back. When it came to the final third, Switzerland unable to do much. But with about, what, 10 minutes ago, Shakiri finally done something in this tournament. An absolutely unbelievable volley. One of the goals of the tournament in what was a very poor game. The game, of course, went to penalties. First few, the first two penalties were scored. Then Shakira stepped up and sadly blasted wide. Poland scored all their remaining penalties, as did Switzerland. So it was Poland who go through. Then he was, of course, Wales v Northern Ireland. And McCauley scoring the own goal. It was a beautiful ball played in by Gareth Bell. But, of course, McCauley couldn't do anything else but put it in his own net. Unlucky for Northern Ireland. And, of course, Wales went through. Portugal v Croatia. That game was bad. Quasma scoring the goal in extra time to put Portugal through. Out of the three games, I think Switzerland and Poland was a poor, followed of course by Portugal and Croatia. Northern Ireland and Wales, not a fantastic game, but you could feel the passion, the tension. It was kind of a real, really fully fierce championship game so it will be Portugal v Poland on June the 30th in Marseille on Thursday then we go into Sunday where France played the Republic of Ireland we got a penalty after just two minutes Liam Brady steps up he scores um, then of course France came back to make it 2-1. We had a player sent off. And, yeah, France went a better team. But, honestly, no game for Ireland gave it everything. Fair play to the Republic of Ireland. Martin O'Neill and Roy Keane. We lost to the better team. The next two games were a formality. Germany just breezing past Slovakia. 3-0. And, of course, Belgium destroying Hungary 4-0. So on July the 1st, on Friday, Wales will play Belgium. And on July the 2nd, Germany would play, of course, Italy, who absolutely were unbelievable against Spain. Spain just ran out didn't have enough. You see what Italy had done, they had won their first two games. Italy, able to rest all their team against the Republic of Ireland, came in that game fresh and it looked like they were fresher, they were fitter. In my word, in defence, Italy were superb. Italy, of course, taking the lead through a free kick. Should have... Uh, De Gea saved that shot and pushed it further away. Well, he didn't. The Italian just put it in the net, 1-0 to Italy. If the Italian wouldn't have scored, of course, it would have been a penalty. As De Gea did bring the player down with his leg. So it would have been a penalty. In the second half, Spain tried to pull the pressure on, but Italy, perfect in defence. Then straight away, Spain nearly scored their great goalkeeper to the legend. Buffalo and made um, an amazing save. And then from nowhere, the balls play through and there was Pella of Southampton to make it 2-0. And there you have it. Italy will play Germany on July the 2nd. One game left, ain't there? Yeah, we know it. England lost to Iceland. Roy Hodgson resigns. Iceland were the better team. They weren't fantastic, but when it came to passing, 
having a, having teamwork, playing like a team, Iceland and England were just rubbish. As you as you heard, as you saw, the passing was all over the place. Wayne Rooney was playing in defence. He was playing behind. He was playing there. He was playing there. You know, all I can say, where was the team? And of course, Roy Hodgson made mistake after mistake in the game. First, he put Sterling in the team. Bad mistake. Then he brought Jack Wilkshire on. What can I say? If that was his tactics that were wrong. The 4-3-3 didn't work. So it will be Iceland to play France July the 3rd. My predictions didn't get many right in the last round but this is how it sh could be Poland and Portugal I don't know Wales v Belgium again that's a hard one to call yes this could be an easy win for Belgium and Belgium could go through but I think Wales could do this so that's on the balance Germany v Italy I'm going for Italy why Germany have never beaten Italy in the major tournament the facts are there. I'm going to go for Italy, France v Iceland. I'm calling it France. I think France will be, will have it all set up. They know how to beat Iceland. You've got a knack of Iceland now. And I think France will have it. Iceland could win it, but I can't see it. Best game of the last 16 had to be Italy v Spain. It was an unbelievable game. Italy were absolutely superb and Italy's Conte shows you what happens when you get it spot on in the group stages he did able to see what Spain or Croatia would do and he just rested all, rested all his players and that's why Italy beat Spain Italy do look like they could win this as the moment the finalists to join Italy could be between Wales, Belgium and France. Poland, Portugal, I think the semi-final is where it will end. France could be Italy in the semi-final, but I think Italy might just have too much for France and I'll leave it there. Who will be in the semi-finals? Well there's my predictions. Leave your predictions in those comments below. I'll say goodbye. Thank you very much.